You will be able to do this after the end of the video. Let's get started. Open your Excel file. I'm freezing the first row for better understanding. I want to group by month. So I'm adding two rows to write the specific month for the heading. Merge the rows and right click, then select format cells. Then choose the type of the row. Generally, you should go for text. I'm adding month and year. Type your heading as your need. I'm making the text size bigger with a border around the row to look good. Here comes the main part. Select the cells you want to group. In my case, it's each specific month. Go to Data tab. Select Group. Select Row. Then OK. Done. Now see the magic. It became collapsible. Select plus to expand and minus to collapse. The group I formed is from row 4 to row 16, not 17. It may look deceiving. Now I'm adding a row before July month. But notice that our new row is grouped with the previous cells. Select the full row, click on group, and then clear outline. Remember, you should select the full row by clicking the number of the row on the left, not by dragging cursors. Copy and paste the heading to reduce work. Give appropriate name. Again, select the cells like previous and then group, select rows, and OK. Done. Collapse all the groups for better arrangement. I'm doing the same for August. You can skip this part. You can click 2 to expand all the groups and 1 to collapse. Now let's see how to group columns. Select the columns you need to group. Go to Data, then select Group. Done. If the video is helpful, give a thumbs up, share your experience, and most importantly, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Oh.